Welcome to Photoshop Pro. Today we're looking at uh, PhotoZoom Pro 4.1, the image enlargement software program from Ben Vista. Um, for image enlargements, I found that this does just about the best job. Uh, will it make an enlarged image look exactly like the original? Of course not. You're going to lose something. But the point is, is that you lose less in terms of sharpness and quality with this program than any others. Um, I've compared it against, which makes it the best. Up here in the interface it shows you the original image, and here's where you do your enlarging down here. Now I'm going to take this image up 400%, and that is actually just huge. Now the effect is going to come in here, and pretty quickly actually it came in. There we go. And you can see as the image enlargement algorithm goes to work, the kind of before and after. As you move around a little bit, it's going to have to reset and do it again. But regardless, it does just an excellent job. You can do your enlargements by percent or by pixel. I usually stick with percent. Um, when you change your percent, if you have this box checked on maintain aspect ratio, automatically your print size uh, will update and maintain the original aspect ratio of length to width. If you want to manually change the uh, length and width settings, uncheck that. You have about uh, 12 resize methods here, uh, including things like Catmull ROM and Mitchell and Hermite and Lanxos. Now, I have absolutely no idea what the difference is between these uh, uh, enlargement algorithms. Go ahead and try them out and see what kind of a job it does on your image. But 99 times out of 100, well, basically 100 times out of 100, I stay with S-Pline Max, uh, which is new to the PhotoZoom 4.0. Just fantastic job. Now here you can do a little little bit more fine tuning down here with presets. You have, you have photo, soft detailed, extra detailed, graphics up to extra detailed. Uh, if you see after your enlargement you're getting these little JPEG artifacts like halos, etc. You can click on one of these uh, to do a, a better job. Do you have your granular photo? Um, Photo detail, I, I will use this on some images, like for example, tree bark or the surface of a rock, something like that, something real, real uh, detailed, fine details. I'll select that preset. But mostly, again, I just leave it on generic. And then for your extra fine tuning, you have this panel down here. Um, I have always left this on the default settings. If you just don't want to see that, click on this. And it goes away, or it comes back again. And you can do your unsharp masking. If you want to try to get a little bit sharper, click on that and play with your sliders. And you can see it coming in a little bit there. And again, you can work on sharpness down here, film grain, you can work on artifact reduction, so you can do some kind of manual fine tuning here. But that's about it. Uh, the program, uh, you run through your image enlargements really, really quickly, and it does just an outstanding job. It's highly recommended. If image uh, enlargements are part of your workflow, you've, got to, you've pretty much got to get PhotoZoom Pro. Uh, nobody else beats them. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.